Humanity has recently reached and passed a tipping point. For the first time ever, over 50% of the entire population on Earth is living in urban areas as opposed to rural. This number is steadily increasing, pushing us into a new era. With this comes a variety of benefits, as well as certain disadvantages, such as pollution, congestion, gender inequality, and other more obvious issues. But there are also some more subtle issues, such as cities providing concealment for trafficking and prostitution. This is the river Yamuna. It is a historically sacred river in Hinduism, yet its banks and flowing bodies suggest differently. Trash litters the grassy patches along the inky black sludge that is the only nature known to the once pretty Yamuna River. What can we do as 8th graders? One thing we can do as 8th graders is provide trash cans or trash bags along rivers for people to throw their waste in, instead of polluting the rivers. As students, we can accomplish these tasks with relative ease, making them ideal for younger people like us. Another issue on the rise with urbanization is congestion. Traffic is a major issue in New Delhi, largely due to the amount of vehicles prowling the narrow roads. A step in the right direction to fixing traffic issues is to carpool with others that live nearby. This can also help one become more closely linked to those around him, alleviating the tendency for rural urban migrants to lose their identities via loss of community. Right. Another problem linked with urbanization of great significance in India's history is women's rights, or rather lack of them. Some would say urbanization has aggravated the problem due to tendency for people to lose their identities in cities. This anonymous inducing nature causes women to lose that little power they have. As 8th graders we can raise awareness with posters and social media or use what knowledge many of us now have to share with the majority of India's population. Urbanization is neither good or bad since so it brings a host of problems as well as benefits. Ultimately urbanization is inevitable. It is a necessity to handle a growing population, for that is why cities were created in the first place, to house greater amounts of people in a smaller space. We are the class of 2020, and we will make a difference.